A, like two letters, and that's it. Fucking rad. It's keep it simple. I'm a Cali girl, so that's where yeah. I belong. Well, I so have, I gotta represent. I have all kinds of Los Angeles stuff tattooed. Oh that man. Yeah, them. it's okay. One my, day. My, my wife would hang me. I'm saving a spot for my headphones to put LA right there, and that's oh, where it's yeah. gonna be marked. So to for sure. I but, think uh, the word Los Angeles is amazing. Yes, it is. I just love that word. Well, the whole town is, in itself is just the home of the angels, and you can't yeah. be Cali at all. I've gone from being a homeless kid in Los Angeles to achieving great things. I've been married, divorced, had my friends die, I've had birth there, I've written some of the greatest songs of my life there, I've had some of my highest moments and lowest moments. I love that city. Yeah, it's great. It'll fucking chew you up and eat you and but, spit you but out. But you need that for the or motivation. Or it'll give birth to you, you yeah, know? Yeah, I hear you. So first of all, I just want to say thank you for calling out fucking Gene Simmons for me. Oh. Thank you so much. Well, I mean, someone needed to say it. You know what? I'll be honest with you. Um, you know, when I was growing up, I, I really loved a lot of bands. Yeah. And Kiss was one of those bands. That, Epic. Not really visually, but uh, musically. That I mean, that their songwriting, I thought was really superb. Um, you know, the problem with having a radio show... You have to talk about current issues. I talk about current issues. I have an opinion. 15 seconds of that gets sent around the world it gets blown up and then Paul gets pissed and says I'm harping on it I wasn't harping on no. it but I respect Paul for saying that and you know I actually do respect Gene I just think sometimes he says weird stuff but we all say weird yeah. stuff so I actually I, I think we look like a bunch of old women in like a cat fight right now we're fighting over the last piece of candy yeah. in the candy bowl yeah, it's no big deal. No, but I mean, you're right. If, he, if Paul's going to yell at you for talking about a current issue, then he's got to yell at the whole radio community, and that's just not the way it works yeah. in this industry. So yeah, you know. Wow, well, what can you do? And so well, I'm uh, I'm Team Six all the way, so that's all, right. all that matters okay. in my opinion. Okay. So they're already telling me to wrap it up. So unfortunately, well, that's it. I yeah, know. Yeah, you got one more question. One more question. Okay, then what's your favorite one off the album? I love the song Rise of the Melancholy Empire. Yeah. That song is amazing. It was a challenge for us to musically write something that long. Uh, it's something we wanted to do, and it happened organically. Uh, I was in Paris doing photography, yeah. and then I was in the south of France, and then I was with Motley Crue in Munich. And when I walked off stage, I had an email from James and DJ. They wrote the music. Yeah. They said, We need some lyrics to this. I wrote the lyrics because the Paris attacks happened that same night yeah. Yeah. so it's a hopeful message out of a dark time and uh, I, the song really means a lot to me and I hope it comes to radio because people need to hear it it's definitely yeah. one of the best ones on there it's a good one thank yeah. you alright thank you so much alright thanks